Hello, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we want to uh, continue with uh, partial fraction. This being the fourth episode and uh, type four. We learned that if, if a rational uh, fraction contains a denominator of quadratic factor, which is repeating, we see one plus x squared is a quadratic factor but it is also repeating meaning this bracket is multiplying two times then that is no more under the third type but on the fourth type so this is going to be decomposed using the linear factor then the quadratic factor so this become a over one minus what x as our linear factor then plus bx plus c 1 plus x squared as the first factor dx plus e over 1 plus x squared all squared so the introduction of this make it the fourth type we learn that if the quadratic is repeating four times, then I need four of the quadratic decomposition. But in this case, it's repeating twice. So x, x being introduced first, the power will decrease with one, then we have two. If it will be four here, it will have been one, two, three, four. All right. So the next thing to do is to clear fraction. And how do we get a fraction? Using the LCD, least common denominator. And it's always good to use the originator, that is the original. So the original is going to multiply four different places. One, two, three, four. Don't forget, if you are multiplying, it means it becomes a numerator. So that fraction here, being numerator here, this one plus S square, all square, will cancel this leaving only one minus x when you multiply the second one because there's a power of two here this will cancel the power of two making only one power and still we will still have one minus x and if this in case multiply this the one minus x will take care of itself leaving this bracket but on the left everything will cancel because it will be the same term used on the numerator all right so we have x square a into bracket 1 plus x square all square plus b x plus c multiplying 1 minus x 1 plus x all square because the power will decrease then d x plus e the whole of this is taking care of this so 1 minus x will be what we will have. So now fraction is gone. The next thing is to compare since we are saying equals to. So we compare the coefficient of corresponding powers of x. Or I can try to eliminate some of them to make it easier. I can eliminate d and e if I make x to be 1. 1 minus 1, 0. So this will go. 1 minus 1. 0. This will go. So let's do that quickly. Put x equals 1, meaning 1 squared equals to a 1 plus 1 square or square b times 1 plus c 1 minus 1 1 plus 1 square d1 plus e 1 minus 1 but we are aware that this is going to be 0 so everything go this will be 0 so everything go so 1 equals to 1 square 1 1 plus 1 2 2 square 4 so we are looking for a so that implies that your a is going to be 1 over what 4 so the next thing to do is to see, can I eliminate any other? And that will have been A. But if I turn my X to be negative 1, I will have gotten the answer. But the X is squared. 
So negative one square, that is negative one all square will be one. So this will have been two. I cannot eliminate. So now I have to compare the corresponding coefficient. But before then, let me open this bracket so that I make it one. Okay? So we are going to have x square a. Let's open this also. So one square will be one. Twice their product will be two x. Then square the last x to the power four. So plus d x plus c into bracket. So what do we do? One will multiply one to give you one. One times x square will be x square. So this times this, we have the answer. One times this, we have your answer. The negative x times x will be negative x. Negative x times x square. Negative x to the power 3. There is no common factor, so we maintain our minus x plus x square minus x to the power 3. I only rearrange with the power increasing order of the power. So... We have plus dx plus e, 1 minus what? x. But I think we can also separate the b and the c on their own. The d and the e on their own. Because this is the bracket. Everything in this bracket multiply the second bracket. So first, dx will multiply. Second, c will multiply. So this is going to be all square plus bx into bracket 1 minus x plus x square minus x to the power 3 plus c 1 minus x plus x squared minus x to the power of 3. Then finally, plus dx into bracket 1 minus x plus e into bracket 1 minus what? x. Right? Good. We are multiplying. So I want to also see that if this is two term multiplying, this can also go and multiply. If you are using 4 to multiply, it is also 2 times 2. So the 2 will also go in and multiply. Meaning, when the x leaves this place, it will multiply to give you x. x squared. x3. x to the power 4. We don't have any x there, we leave it. But there's an x here. So when I shift the x inside, it becomes x. Then minus x what? Squared. So now... I can do my comparison. So by comparing our coefficient, it is going to be the highest power is 4. So we don't have a power of 4 at the left, so we mean we having 0. So that is going to be 0 equals to if you open this bracket, you have positive a to the power 4. Positive a, x to the power 4. So, a. If I look through the b, there's a power of 4 here. So, minus b. All, to the, all is going to be like this. To the power 4. Right? But there's no power of 4 there. That how come we have 0? So, this will be our equation one that is comparing the coefficient of x to the power four all right let's go to x to the power three a doesn't have anything like that so i leave it behind i go to b b is having that but it's positive we don't have it on the left so that will also be zero equals to b as the first term i have a power of three so c will be negative so negative c do I have D? No. That becomes equation 2. Let's see. A power of 2. 
we are done with power of 3. So let's go to power of 2. Already we have power of 2 here. So the coefficient will be 1. So we have 1 equals to a times 2a, 2x squared. It will be 2a. Do I have a power of 2 here? Yes, but negative. So negative b power of 2, positive. So plus what? c. There's a power of 2 here, but negative. So minus d. Equation 3. Good. Let's go to the single power. That is the power of x. Already there is no power of x here. So we have 0 equals to. So there is no x here. But we have x here. So that will be b. Do I have x here? Minus c. There is x here. Plus d. And there is x here. Minus e. Equation 4. So finally, let's compare this constant term. There is no constant here, so I have 0 is equals to a. Okay, b is not there. c. And e. So this is going to be plus e that will be equation what five so now we are going to watch equation one to five and see how best we can solve it already we know what the a is our a is one over four so from equation one we can find a b easily so i know that from equation one we will know your a is going to be equal to b when a b as negative crosses become positive. So b equals to a or a equals to b. And our a is 1 over what? 4. So we know the a, we know the b. Let's go to equation 2. Equation which is going to be c equals to b. So b is equals to c is equals to 4, 1 over 4. So equation 1, equation 2, we are done with that. Where do we go? Let's go to equation 3. We know A, we know B, we know C. So finding D will not be a problem. So D as negative will come to the left to become d equals to if d come to this way you'll be left with 2a minus b plus c minus 1 this minus 1 also have to go this positive 1 has to go to become minus but do I know what the a stand for a stand for what 1 over 4 B stand for 1 over 4. C stand for 1 over 4. Then minus 1. So what will happen? Don't forget this. Minus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4. It will be 0. Here is going to be 2 over 4. That will be 1 over 2. 1 over 2 minus 1. That will give you D equals to negative 1 over 2. So D is negative 1 over 2. A is known. B is known. And the C is also known. D is also known. So we are looking for only what? Uh, only E. We can do that from equation 4. But I'm having 1, 2, 3, 4. This is 1, 2, 3. So I'll deal with this one. Equation 5, I am looking for E. Maintain the E there. So E is going to be equals to, these two are going to cross to the other side. Minus what? A 
minus what? C. And that will be E equals to minus 1 over 4 minus 1 over what? 4. They have the same denominator, right? So we subtract the numerators. Negative 1 minus 1. That will be negative 2 over 4. So E is going to be negative 1 over what? 2. So the value of A is known, B is known, C is known, and the D, E, they are all known. So we only substitute that into the, the beginning. So A is going to be 1 over 4. So 1 over 4, we'll give 1 here, then 4, 1 minus what? X. B is 1 over 4, double division. So we have that. B is also 1 over 4. C is also 1 over 4. So 7 plus 8 over 9 could be written as 7 over 9, 8 over 9. Even though they are different. But we can compute that we have only 1. So that 1, which is our 4 here, will sit on the top there. Then this is going to be 1 over... So the 1 will affect... The x is also 1. Then all this become 4, 1 plus x squared. Don't forget, there's a 1 here for b. This 4 will jump there. 1, the 4 will also go there. What do we go? We go to d, which is minus 1 over 2. Where do we get our e? Also minus 1 over what? 2. The same denominator. So, this is going to be the minus 1, so 1 plus 1. But don't forget, we don't write a 1. But it's a negative, so we put this negative here, going to affect the minus here, and affect it there. So, all this will be divided by 2, 1 plus x squared, all squared. So, the decomposition of this fraction will give us this fraction. So these are the partial fraction of this main fraction. In a rational fraction, you will be given this and you will be asked to solve this. But here, you will be given this to decompose into partial fraction. I believe a bit lengthy. The board is not that big. But we are able to manage our way. The concept is what is uh, necessary. How the concept is being delivered. If you can follow it, you'll be able to solve related questions. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share this video with your colleagues. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel. Like and leave a comment. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.